well. We were told that there's uh, sonar and infrared technology that has detected multiple vehicles in the water. So right now we're seeing crews uh, make their way throughout here. But 695 has been blocked off. Recovery efforts. Um, but again, Just a lot of people impacted. Terrifying. This. They take this road, as we've mentioned, thousands of people take Key Bridge every single day for their morning commute. And then gods gives issues, uh, orders, commands to the helmsman, the person actually steering the ship. Interesting or hard time finding a, a place to get a good shot of the bridge. A lot of the roads naturally are closed. I found this one interesting place called Fort Armistead, which is a really cool like little hangout ground for a lot of people to take pictures and stuff, but it seems as though that road is closed. Which is this road right here, right behind me. Here's an industrial park road. Might be able to kind of get to it from over there. That's where I kind of want to go. Is this a way? No. State property, no trespass. It's like right beyond this little hill over here. It's where the water is. Just got to get to a point where I'm on the shore. I'm really close, but been hitting a couple snags in the road here. All right, I'm not going to really explain the specifics of where I am, but I am near a train track. It's always trains with me for some reason. We are just huffing it, walking over to the water, which isn't that far, just kind of a hard spot to get to with roads being blocked and a lot of this land being owned by nasty chemical companies and what have you but this is a smelly train that i'm next to and there's a lot of chemically stuff disgusting stuff by the water luckily i brought the telephoto lens so maybe i can get some shots of stuff it's like a fun little train adventure that I'm going. I feel like I'm like going across country, walking the train tracks. I'm very close to the water. I gotta go that way. There's a big old fence in my way. I mean, these train tracks kind of go in that direction. I'll just keep walking this way. I feel like I should play the Andy Griffith show song, you know? Just, you know, walking along. Do, do, do. Oh, that's a lot of mud. I can't play it because of copyright. You guys just use your imagination. Come along to yourself. So I think I may have found a better way to go. I don't know. I'm getting kind of creeped out. 
over here. Very paranoid that a train is gonna run me over. And to be honest, I don't even know if I'll get a good enough shot going this way or not. It's kind of hard to tell. Ah, screw it. Okay. Pretty close now. Getting really close. Just keep looking behind me the whole time. Checking for trains that way. Checking for trains this way. This might be as far as I can go. When I keep going that way. Stopped by the fuzz. They're back there. They're like, nope, police doing what they do best. Guarding private property. All right, let's see if I can find another way in. I think there, I mean, there's tons of roads. It's just, there's a lot of these factories and private property things. And I thought it'd be kind of clever going along the, the train track here, which didn't have a private property thing on it. So I was like, well, maybe I can just walk along the train tracks. Nah, nah, the police, they got that covered. All right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna run quickly, get in my car, drive away before anybody catches me. Go, go, go. Go, 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 go. Uh-oh. Hey, beat it. I'm more worried about the geese than the police. Okay, I think I'm in the clear. No one was waiting for me at my car. No police so far, fingers crossed. We'll just stay out of their way and they stay out of my way. Just look at all that crap over there. So much just terrible stuff on the water. That way. This is a part of Baltimore I have zero experience with. This is probably really pretty at one point, but then uh, we needed to build factories. As, as always. I really should just go into the city to find a better route that way. All right, I'm back at the train track where the cops stopped me, so I'm just gonna turn around. All right, we're taking a little break from the bridge. Do some old fashioned thrifting, baby. We're on the hunt. We're aspiring eBay flippers. We're gonna do it today. We're gonna to find something good today. That's a bunch of pickles. Always on the hunt for watches. Watches, watches, watches. Uh, looks like it's it. Everyone's gotta have their niche in the flipping world. And for some reason, kitchenware and appliances seem to be calling to me. I don't know why. Maybe it's because of the hot dogger. If I find another hot dogger here. So many Foreman grill things. Type of like old school appliance. People really seem to dig online. Ceramic, and this has a box and everything. Okay, these are going for about 50 bucks online, but let's see if any of them are actually being sold. Cursed, cursed item. Does anyone want this? It's three dollars. You can, there's, there's more of them. There's, there's a whole village. Whoa, look at this. Oh my God. I'm not gonna put this on my face, but There you go, look. Just use your imagination. Presto is the same company that made that hot dogger, so maybe I'll get some more luck with Presto. It, yeah, this thing's gross, I'm not, I'm not touching that. Back from Lent, you came, Presto Burger. Christmas is right around the corner. It's only April, but we gotta start preparing, guys. The pull on this stupid cart is like right in the way. Here we go, baby. 
Oh, it's just not worth it. I haven't sold the other one, so. A VHS rewinder? Oh my god, I used to have one of these. Yeah, you just put it in and it rewinds the tape for you. That's its only job. There's no way. There's no way that we have a track Best of Merle Haggard over here. Oh, uh, uh, this is wild. This is insane right now. How is this possible? What is this? Oh. All junk, not having any luck. No luck. Here we go. Everyone says remotes are like really good. Oh yeah, CD cases, nice. Got the flashlights, got the battery chargers, Christmas lights, huh? striking out left and right here. There's nothing good. Might have something here. Take that back. There's another one here. There's like a, a little set. Someone put this on there. I feel like this is a little important piece of history. Somebody's history traveled with those bags right there. What a total bust today. Total, complete bust. Not having any luck. Here's a Kyle Lego mug. We're in the coffee mug world now. How the mighty have fallen. Whoa. I got nothing. What? Getting more and more depressed as I keep walking through here. There's someone's wedding dress right here. That's really sad. That's so sad. We well, got three of them at least. Uh, I just got nothing. I got no inspiration today. Old the fort. Oh, oh my god. No way. Whoa. Whoa. I think the lamp just went out. fried but I think I could just kind of replace it down here there's also no price on this but you know I may just want it they gave it to me for 10 bucks oh boy that thrifting was not as productive as it normally is but you know it is what it is I had to go in the Dairy Queen to pee and I decided to get an ice cream cone I got the confetti ice cream cone or some dipped confetti. It's terrible. Every time. I'm always like, oh, birthday cake. That's a good flavor. It's never a good flavor. It's always too sweet. Complete and utter mess. What a crud day. I'm just like not having a good day today. The birthday cake tastes like birthday chemical. Get out of here. Crap. Pure and utter anarchy. All right, back in the car. I think I found a way to uh, get some shots of the bridge, potentially. It's kind of far away, and it, but it's at this little park down in Severna Park, Gibson Island. So it's at a park. Hopefully I won't have too many police officers harassing me, but you never know. Great God. Oh. Whoa, I got ice cream all over the car. Wow, 
Well, you can kind of see it. Oh, and it's, it's like so windy. It's like rocking me all over the place. I need to bust out the tripod for this one. Oh, 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 oh geez. <laughs> oh, whoa, what is happening? It's, it's gotta be a hurricane. Why is it so windy? Can I say hello? Yeah. <laughs> He's cute. He, she? He, Remington. Remington. Oh my goodness. You're <laughs> so adorable. Oh, water. There's literally ducks in the middle of this field that they have turned into a makeshift pond. It's not a pond, it's it's a it's a field. Don't don't tell the ducks that. Oh my god, those kids are walking across the, the moat pond over there. That's insane. Why are they doing that? You could just walk there's you can go that way. They're just they're just walking. Wow. I'm gonna see if I can get a little bit closer. I think I can go in the city and get a little bit closer. This is a very pretty park though. Well, that was just very upsetting to see, even from a very long distance. Uh, I've driven over that bridge uh, countless times. Uh, I've gone under the bridge on a boat. Like I have footage of me doing that. One of the recent uh, science trips I took with my mom, we were on a boat got a great shot of, of the bridge and everything but uh, it's just it's just awful to to see just a crazy freak accident like that like the billions upon billions of people that have gone over that bridge that have gone on boats under that bridge just it's been like a part of Baltimore for forever um, as long as I can remember it's just one of those things you just you see all the time you just don't really ever think about it's just like oh it's just the it's a key bridge you know but just seeing it uh even from a distance was just it's definitely intense and uh it's just terrible just to to hear about the people that lost their lives and uh, just all the all kinds of things are just gonna really be kind of messed up for a while as they try to fix that the bridge and I understand why a lot of these areas are kind of closed off and it, it totally makes sense because there's you know people are naturally curious and when there's a bridge down and there's metal and all kinds of god knows what in that water chemicals now probably you know someone could get horribly injured or if not worse so it makes sense All right, take two, day two. So after spending several hours that I didn't anticipate the other day, trying to get footage of the key bridge, I got home and I looked at the footage and it was incredibly shaky. 
even with the tripod, even with the camera stabilization and lens stabilization, it was just too windy, and uh, it didn't, it was just shaking all over the place, so I wasn't too pleased about that, and I know I'm, I'm looking at this in a very, like, clinical-like way, just trying to go out and, and capture footage of it, almost as if, like, a videographer would. I woke up early this morning, I was going to go to the gym, but then my wife said she didn't want to go to the gym, so I was like, well, all right. I'm up, I'm still tired from running on those train tracks. The thing I was trying to avoid was going around the city on, on 695 or through 95, which goes through a tunnel. I was trying to avoid doing that yesterday, staying on this side of the city, on the west side of the city, and trying to get footage of it from there. but. It's just, it was impossible. It's just all this land is owned by other companies and it's all barricaded off and reached out to my buddy Dan Bell and he had gotten some footage and he told me where to go to get some more. Windshield wipers just turned on for no reason. But uh, I'm kind of, I'm out here this morning, bright and early, 7 a.m., determined pugnacious, tenacious. I gotta stop this. You really gotta stop. I just, I can't though. I can't stop. It's just awful to see. Mm. Well, this doesn't necessarily feel like a win after seeing it up close like that. Just terrible to see. Here it is, right here. Here's the road that you would take. Right here runs parallel to this uh, this road that goes to a bunch of Amazon and FedEx facilities and all kinds of other shipping facilities. That was it. 